we got a trade to talk about. It wouldn't be a news and notes episode without some type of movement in the NWSL. But Racing Louisville and OL Rain announced a trade recently. Racing Louisville trading with OL Rain for the player rights, discovery rights, the Chinese national team forward Wang Shuang and OL Rain will get thirty thousand dollars in allocation money and a fourth round draft pick. Now, Lisa. I want to ask you your opinion about this in a specific kind of way, because it wasn't too long ago when we came on an episode of attacking third and we talked about a player signing in Jaden Shaw, San Diego, and something like discovery rights coming into play and sort of looking at the reporting around that at seeing a wildly, wildly, wildly high number at one point, that San Diego came to the negotiating table with and clearly Washington spirit, they were unable to reach an agreement. And now Jaden Shaw has signed with San Diego to 2023 with no option. So it's a short deal. And now we've got a different type of trade with discovery rights kind of coming into play and racing Louisville said in their sort of announcement that there is intent to yeah. negotiate a contract with this player to, to sign her on to the team. So I want to get your, your thoughts, your perspectives on sort of the difference, like the difference in negotiating patterns and sort of how like you sort of see this trade coming to light, this potential signing coming to light versus what we saw with San Diego and Washington. Yeah, I mean, I think that this potential signing, um, I, I don't know. I haven't talked to Racing Louisville or Kim Bjorkegren, but I feel like there's more there than they're letting on. I don't think you would make this type of trade just for a potential signing. So I, I imagine that this contract um, will be coming down the road for Racing Louisville. And at this point for Racing Louisville, they need this type of player. This 27 year old, uh, she has played for PSG uh, before in, in France. She has a lot of experience. She's a, a Chinese national team superstar. And for her to be able to come into a team like Racing Louisville at a point where they're they're losing more players than they are gaining at this point, right? We saw CC Kaiser being traded away, Ebony Salmon being traded away. Um, they're they're slowly going and, and plugging along in this NWSL season, but a team like Racing Louisville needs someone like this that can come in and make an immediate impact. And the fact that this huge trade for $30,000 and a fourth round draft pick in 2023 is just for the players' rights um, makes me think that we may be hearing an announcement down the road that this player is actually coming to the NWSL and that they will be playing. Wang Shuang will be playing with Racing Louisville before we know it. I'm hoping those talks are moving quickly, but there's a lot of movement right now in the NWSL, and a, a lot of it is under the surface, I'm going to say, in terms of the Jaden Shaw, who was training with Washington Spirit, and then just – signs um, with San Diego wave because of the discovery process. But clearly San Diego, Casey, Sony, they wanted a player like this and they were willing to go after Shaw. Um, and, and similarly racing Louisville going after a, a player like Wang Shuang from OL rain. I am. Um, when I saw this announcement, like come through, I was like hyped. I, I think that's the best word I can use. I was like, I like kind of, yeah, did a little like baby like clench switch. I was like, I love this. Like even just like the possibility mm -hmm. of having Chuang play in NWSL is very exciting. Um, we saw China and the Steel Roses have an incredible run when we uh, were watching the AFC Asian uh, Women's Asian Cup, and this was a player who was constantly a factor in like those matches that we got to see her performing with her team. And I'm just like the idea of like having a Chinese national team player in NWSL is going to be great for the league. Quite frankly, the possibility of it being a franchise like racing Louisville FC is also, I think, something that's very unique in this capacity. You're talking about a franchise that's trying to attract international superstars. Um, you know, they have 
room on their roster, quite frankly, to to have a player, an attacking player of this caliber. And I do wonder if perhaps maybe things this was a player on their radar, but mm -hmm. perhaps this got sped up a little bit. Yeah, you know, because prior to July and sort of all the soccer kind of kicking off and 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 all of the different competitions, Racing Louisville had an, an another really exciting announcement when they said like, hey, like we we're, we made a move for for Thembi Kaklana. We're really excited. It's like we're gonna have you know another attacker in, in the mix, and unfortunately, Kaklana came out of that. African uh, Cup of Nations with a uh, ACL tear. So immediately, like as soon as you announce it and as soon as you generate the excitement about it, it's quickly like kind of put on the back burner and you're just like, oh man, well, I guess we're not going to see the return of this player to NWSL because this was a player who spent some time with the Dash in years prior. And I know people were excited about that, the return of, of South African soccer and in, in, in NWSL. And so I do wonder if with, with that happening, if that sort of maybe set some other things in motion for racing. Um, because it, I think at the time of that signing, it was like, we still want to make a signing to try to remain competitive in this, in this season, even though they are very clearly in the bottom half of the table and trying to get their points where they can. Um, so sort of seeing this announcement and not just seeing this announcement, for Schwang from racing, but like seeing the excitement around it, like Nadia Nadim also like very amped for this as well. A former teammate of hers while with Paris St. Germain. So there's like excitement there as well. So I'm, I'm just like very here for it. It's not something that I think folks maybe anticipated seeing, um, you know, this year, but it's nice to see that this is now something that's not uncommon. I mean, we heard very early on, we had an interview with Sophia Jakobsen, um, with the waves and one of, one of the big motivating factors for her to come to play in NWSL was the timing of it all. And the fact that it was going to be in the buildup to a world cup, that this was the league that she wanted to be playing in ahead of the world cup. So I'm, you know, I, I think the fact that there's, uh, all kinds of different franchises, whether they're in San Diego or apparently in Louisville, uh, had the ability to sort of go out there and recruit uh, top international talent. So it's a very exciting time right now. It is lots of movement in the league um, and an opportunity to see different players bringing their style and flair to the league. Hopefully um, Racing Louisville can sign, get a contract out of Schwang, and maybe we'll see her towards the end yep. of this regular season. We'll keep everyone posted, of course, as always. Look, and I'm going to I'm always here for the plug. Like if you're if you want to go watch some of those matches, you could still yeah. do that. Those games are still on Paramount Plus. You can go back and watch uh, China's run in the uh, oh. Women's Asian Cup. Uh, you could catch those on demand on Paramount Plus, just in case you want to like you know refresh your memory or get reintroduced uh, to somebody like Shuang. So exciting stuff for NWSL. That's what we're going to close out on here on attacking third. Thanks everybody for joining us.